Hey YouTube, um, my mouth is blue, it's because I'm eating some frozen blueberries. Thanks Canada. There's a few things I want to go over. I've been having a hard time getting out here to make videos. I've just been too busy with so many other little things and right now I'm between a couple projects. There's <clears throat> those of you that follow me on Instagram and that kind of stuff may have seen that I was working on some cabinetry stuff. I, I can't even get... There's plywood everywhere around here and it's getting buried. And I'm in the middle of that project. At the same time, I have another project that I'm working on, and that's what this video is going to be about, are some rusted metal planters. Now, uh, a few months back, I made some core tin planters, and I didn't shoot any video on that particularly, but it was about the rusty metal coating. And here are five little ones that I made just recently for this latest anyway. order. The last one here is not anywhere near as large as the, uh, one I, the ones I did over the summer. Uh, but I thought I'd go over this. It's kind of kind of a fun little project. Now these, I just got back from a shop, uh, machine um, fab shop. I had them throw a one inch lip on here. Uh, this is 10 gauge, just regular steel. It's not core 10. It's just uh, what is it? Uh, A600 or A5. I don't remember what it is. I'd have to look it up. But uh, it's just regular uh, hot roll sheet. I uh, stripped the mill scale off. It's not perfect. I mean, there's still some areas that have a little bit of little spottiness here and there, and that's fine. That won't affect it. But what we're going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to I'm going to get these into get these into position. I got to clip these little corners so that I you know, I got to miter them and prep them. We're going to stand it up, tack a corner together, get the other pieces up here, tack those together, tack it all together, just do a continuous weld, do the structural pieces inside and um, grind it and then we're going to throw some uh, rust accelerator on it and that's it that's that's the project the inside is actually going to get coated on these because they're not core tin they uh without some sort of coating they'll they'll rust out pretty quick so we wanted to add a little bit more life to them but uh anyway uh i just wanted to kind of get something out there the last video was i actually have another video that's in the works uh i'm not real Satisfied with the dialogue, I may re-record a lot of that, but uh, kind of, sort of, recording a little bit on these cabinets. I'm not really sure if that's something that'll go out, but uh, basically what's been going on is I was uh, called in to work for a, a local frame shop. They had a, a little bit of a problem with one of their framers, and well, both their framers, and they were kind of left without any, and I've been, I, I agreed to help down there, and that's where I have fallen way behind. Uh, they've offered me, a, the owners have offered me a position. I haven't decided whether I want to do that or not. They've offered me a full-time gig. I haven't decided if that's something I really want to do yet or not. And it's, you know, a lot of, a lot of things preying on my mind. So uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get this started and we can at least get this done today.
All right, people, that's it for today. Uh, it's dusk, it's getting dark. We're gonna, we got the rust on it. We're gonna let it set. It'll continue to rust all night. And uh, I may give it another spray of uh, accelerator in the morning, but that's a planter. And uh, so uh, until next time, bye.